welcome to Morrison Clemens June Market Report. Well, we're rapidly approaching the halfway mark of 2017 and what a year it's been in the Melbourne property market. This year, house prices have continued to increase at a soaring pace, auction clearance rates are trumping those of last year and there have been more auctions held across the state. Let's see what we can expect for the second half of 2017. It has recently been reported the Melbourne property market is expected to decrease over the next three years. It is forecast that house prices will fall 1.8% next year, then dip another 1% in 2019 and 0.5% the following year. These statistics are based on the assumption that interest rates will rise and housing supply will in fact overtake demand. However, this is not what we're seeing this year. Buyers are finding there are fewer properties on the market, which means there's a strong competition for the ones that are. This can explain why house prices have continued to shoot up and break records. We are very much looking forward to the second half of the year where we're expecting to see more impressive and exciting results. Well, the latest results following the week ending 4th of June, clearance rates are up 78%, 5% higher than the 73% recorded on the same weekend last year. There were also 862 auctions held this past week, which also higher than the number recorded at the same time last year. Not only are the statistics strong, but the prices we're achieving at Morrison Cleman have also been very impressive. Over the last month, we've sold 75 Bible Street Eltham for 1,140,000, 11 Erin Court St Helena for 1,387,000, and three Cannawindra Crescent Greensboro for 818,000. All terrific prices. Last month, Morrison Cleman conducted their first auction in Doreen, which saw a great result. Number 6 Vichy Avenue sold for 490,000 with multiple bidders. Interest in Dorian and surrounding suburbs have been extremely strong with record number of buyers through our open homes, with multiple offers being received on properties for private sale. Because of this, auctioning is an effective way to get the best possible price and to make the most of buyer demand. The average number of days in the Dorian market is down to a record low of 24 days. For the second half of 2017, we expect current trends to continue in what is currently a booming market. Although some statistics suggest there will be a downward slide, we don't expect to see anything of that nature anytime soon. While other states in the nation have seen house prices fall, Melbourne has remained the most resilient. Thanks for checking in to our June report. We'll see you next month.